Hey guys, how you doing? Well, let me put it like this. This message isn't for everybody. So if it doesn't apply, let it fly. For those who can use it, you can thank me later. All right, so I was talking to one of my friends who's like a brother to me. And I was saying to him some of my frustrations when I'm working with couples in my practice as a couples therapist, marriage counselor, relationship expert, however you want to refer to me, I'm licensed to practice and I specialize in relationships. But nonetheless, so here's what I don't understand. All too often, I see couples that have different attachment styles come into my office. I'm not going to bore you guys with what exactly is an attachment style. That's not the here or there. That's for me to know and whatever. But nonetheless, I'm going to say this to you all. If you know that you're somebody who is a homebody or somebody who is very outgoing, why would you get with somebody who is the total opposite of who you are and, and has issues with you being who you are? I'm not talking about somebody who is the opposite of who you are and they appreciate who you are and they respect who you are and they're not trying to change you. I'm not talking about those people. I'm speaking of the people who know who you are, secretly don't like who you are, but it comes up in conversations every time they're trying to change who you are. Why would you get with somebody like that? And most importantly, why would you pretend to be somebody who's outgoing, somebody who, who isn't a social butterfly, somebody who just wants to be home and booed up all day and loving you? And you know the truth is you're an outgoing person. Why would you pretend to be something you're not? Or vice versa. Maybe you are a stay-at-home person who loves the comfort of your home, but you're interested in somebody who is more outgoing. Why would you try to get with that person and pretend to be similar like that person or have no problems with how that person is? Why? I got this to say to people like that. To thy own self be true. That will save you a trip to my office. That will save you a trip from going to couples therapy, a marriage counselor, trying to keep your relationship together. To thy own self be true. Be your own kind of beautiful. If you know you're not about that life, stop pretending that you are. Because what's going to happen is you're going to eventually try to change that person. And that's not cool to try to change somebody to fit your needs. If you cannot accept your partner for who they are without trying to change them or convince them to be different, then you shouldn't be with them. Because what's going to end up happening is that person is going to wind up resenting you. I see it all the time. I see so many people come into my office who has an implicit divorce. What is that? Well, I'll tell you. An implicit divorce is a divorce that's not legal. It's not a divorce that's on paper, but it's implied without even having words to describe what it is, you and your partner knows that you're together for whatever reason, to share the bills, to raise the children, whatever, because nobody wants to make the move, whatever the reason is, but yet you're doing your thing, he's doing his thing, or she's doing her thing, and he's doing his thing, whatever the case is, and you're living single. That is an implicit divorce. That's not cool. That's not cool to be booed up with somebody for the rest of your life all because you guys are afraid of breaking up because what your family's going to say, what the church is going to say, what other people are going to say, but you're unhappy and you're miserable because you like staying home and he likes going out or she likes having going to parties and he likes staying home. Come on. Come on. We got to do better than this. We got to stop pretending to be something we're not. I don't know. That's just my two cents. But nonetheless, if you want to come see me, I'm available. Speak to you soon.